and welcome back to the DIY van build my peeps we've come up with a pretty cool sliding screen solution in our van so stick around now if you've been following along you might be thinking what the heck I thought we were gonna do the walls inside that van already and based on our last words in our last video after three weeks we're done with wires and it's time to start making this thing actually look like a camper van with some walls I had the same feeling and I'm gonna get around to explaining that for you I promise but if we're just meeting right now I feel that we need to do a quick introduction so my name is Jeff dares the channel you're on is dares drives and currently we are converting this 2019 Mercedes Sprinter van into a 4x4 overland roaming home that we plan to travel the continent with so we're just documenting this build step by step into little bite-sized little pieces so if you're building your own or you just like that kind of thing Now, I'm not 100% sure if I've told you this before or not, but I have never built a van before, nor do I have experience in carpentry, mechanics, or anything of those type of things. I am a salesman with a high school diploma. Well, that's the story we're gonna stick to if anybody asks, okay? Okay. Now, when these cameras aren't rolling, I sit in this chair for hours on end, reviewing, looking at the process, what's the next step, what tools do I need, what do the instructions look like, of pulling the product out of the box, dry fitting it into the spot in the van that we want to do and then putting it all back in the box so I can restart this video between you and I. And then I'll pace back and forth inside this van with a tape measure in my hand trying to figure out how it's all going to fit in, where it's going to fit in, where I mount the screws. And in this particular situation as I was doing that exact thing I just remembered we have a screen door that fits into here and if I want this in to frame it properly, we should put this in before we put the walls in. And this is that screen door kit right here. So this is sold by a company called Screen Door Solutions, and it's made by a company called Plisse or Plice, P-L-I-S-S-E. It comes with a screen door that's already curved to fit the edge of that door. Hold on, let me lay these parts out. So this is the full kit all laid out. Pretty straightforward, it's literally four pieces. So we have the bottom rail down here, the top rail way up here, the actual screen itself, which is all tucked away, and then the actual step, which is what we're gonna start with right now. So you need that step to bring everything level. Now my understanding of this floor piece here that we see is double-sided tape, and it should just fit right into this well and stick itself down. But as you'll see, we have a piece that doesn't fit in there properly. It sticks way up. It does not fit down inside that groove like it's supposed to. Oh, they must have changed the design for 2019. Like I haven't heard that one before, my friends. <sighs> and I guess we have to customize that step. So to address our fitting issue on that bottom step, I've taken ourselves a piece of cardboard the same length and just cut it out. And then we'll take this piece to the vent. And then we'll fit it into the hole and we'll just slowly start cutting it out until it fits in the corners, just like that. And then the wood piece fits like this, although I didn't record it. It's a stencil, and it's a piece of wood, and a saw. You get the point. We just wanna put a door in, damn it. I'm gonna take the bottom rail, and the bottom rail is gonna fit right up against that step again, and fit right into there. It then sits perfectly flush with that step we gave it. The one thing I am finding, though, is that just like the step itself, this corner of that rail doesn't fit the taper of this very well. So it causes it to rock and it does it on both sides here. So I'm going to take my grinder. What? No more Rocky Rockerson. It sits down there perfectly. But now we got to fix the top rail. Now the top rail is identical to what the bottom rail was and just plugs in the exact same way using these little L bracket type things. It fits right across this top area like this, but as you can see, it's way too long, which means you have to cut it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab our screen and I'm gonna place it down into the bottom track that we have not mounted down I want to keep everything loose until we have it all fit in place. And that just slides down onto there. Pull that string tight again. And push it down into place. 
Ready? How do I make this stay? Um. It's all about using that noodle and being creative. Frick, we can make anything happen, can't we? What? And I taped that down as well just so that our tracking stuff isn't kicking out of place. But at least it'll sit itself in there. So now we can take our top rail and kind of find how that's going to sit. Right inside there. I'm going to set you down so you can see that side. Hopefully that works for you. There we go. Look at that, eh? So now I'm just going to eyeball it to right where the frame starts to curve. I think I'm just going to cut it right at the end of that. So now that I've marked it and I know where it sits, we got to pull it all back apart again. Because that's what we do. We put things together and we pull it apart. Welcome to my life. And as I went to pull it apart, I broke another end. When I did my initial dry fit a couple months ago, I lifted it up while hooked into the screen and they're not very strong. They're just like a white metal, but it snapped right off and broke a piece off inside the screen, which is still inside the screen, but I was able to jerry rig it so that we can keep moving forward. And honestly, Doug at the screen solutions place was great about it. He just sent us a whole pack of them free of charge, which is awesome. Okay, so we're finally back on track. I got a new piece in. I actually ended up breaking two of them during this whole span. Holy crap, is it hot in here. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm speaking moistly at you guys, but honestly, I'm just sweating my butt off. It is freaking warm in here. And I don't want to really pull this thing down because when it rains, this thing really saves our butts. So, do we want to be rained on or do we want to be hot during the hot days? I'm going to pick hot during the hot days. Reminds me of sitting right here and staring out, pretending that's a beach. Can you hear the waves? Just you wait, it's coming my friends, it's coming. But let's get this door on. And now with our top bar cut to lengths, I can feed our top bar on. And the kit also came with this bracket. It's got a little hook. So if you can see that bolt right there, it's gonna fit onto there and then our rail is gonna bolt to the bottom of it. Check it out, see? So now with that in place, it holds this up. It goes across and the door is in place. So now that I got it all dry fit for the third time, I'm gonna unbolt this bolt, bring it all back out. I'm gonna stick all this down with the step itself. As we mentioned at the beginning of the video, it already has the 3M VHB tape on it. Peel the back off. That's solid. And then we bought our own tape, which is again, 3M exterior tape. I'm just gonna run it. We'll stick her straight down right where it came from. And my friends, the floor's solid, yes. And with it all back together, that leaves us with one last step, which is these strings. So I know it's gonna be really hard to see these on the camera, get near the light, but on the top, it comes with two strings. The bottom has a similar, but it's three strings, and they're all tied together with a little knot on the end. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to tell, like that. So this string is gonna come all the way across the top rail to the end here, and in the end, you'll see but this cap has a hole in the middle and a groove in the bottom here. So your cord's just gonna kinda come up and go through that hole until you see it come out the bottom here. See it, there it is, okay. Now we're gonna bring it over to where this piece is. So this is what they call the tension block. So that's an Allen key head and it has these grooves in it here in which you're gonna hold on that knot that is on the end of the string. So you're just gonna squeeze it into there. And once you got it to fit into there, then you're just gonna slide that tension block over until your string is tight, and then tighten it down in place. On these, it does come with these marks here to mark the tension, but because we cut that rail, 
it's not actually accurate. But now we got it all tightened in. You do have to sit there and open and close that door multiple times until and just keep tensioning it. But I'm not going to waste your time with it. And once you're done, you'll see. There's our sliding screen door, my friends. Look at that. See how nice it fits up against here? It's nice and tight. All sealed. And on the back side, you can see this is the reason why I wanted this done before putting our walls in because, well, I can reach out to the other side of the screen. So this wall will come out, build up to here. If that's something you're going to have to wait till next time. But check this out. See from outside, look how wide open that door is. You can't even tell it's there. Then we just grab onto the handle, pull it all over. It seals up against that edge and our screen. Is that not freaking sweet? I love it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull all this tape off and that's how she ends up looking. See? Open. Closed. Okay. And from the inside, all closed. And then opened. And if we want to close the door, just grab onto the door. Put a big room. Not too shabby, eh? You hear that rain? Good thing we kept this tent up, right? I'll deal with the heat because I'd be getting soaking wet right now if it wasn't for. Yeah. Come on. But with that being said, this is another project in the books. It's another video in the bank, my friends. So, if you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed yet, maybe consider doing so. No pressure, of course, you do you, but it is completely free and it does mean the world to me. If you have subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you, and of course, as always, we, we will see you next Sunday.